Hello everyone, I'm Randy Suarez, aka Silvercoats, headed back with another amazing reaction. This time we're back to some more Ali CD parenting and the PTA. Now, I never understood the PTA to a certain extent. Uh, well, because I never really gave my mom or my dad slip for the PTA or anything. Because one, one of them were too busy, two, the other one was pretty crazy. So bringing that together didn't make any sense to me at the time. But hey. But I'm curious on what he's going, what Otley is going to talk about for this one. So if y'all like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to Ali Sadiq. I will leave the link to this video down below in the description. Watch it uninterrupted. I'll link to my uh, Savage Dad reaction playlist because I've been reacting to Savage Dad lately. So you can just click on that playlist, play the playlist, playlist link down below in the, in the description. Also, I will uh, link to my uh, social medias. You can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Uh, I, I, again, we'll link them down below. Sorry, I caught a freaking mosquito for some reason. Get one guy in the house. Also, I'll link uh, my cash up. You feel gracious enough to donate five, ten, fifteen dollars. That's fine. You don't. That's fine as well. Uh, same thing with super thing. But by donating, liking, commenting, and subscribing and sharing, it lets me know y'all really rock with the reaction content, rock with the channel, and rock with your boy. But further ado, buckle up and. All right, started. we're here with some more Ali Sadiq, parenting and the PTA. Let's go. What I am is this. This is what I do know that I am, what I'm very proud of. I'm one of the greatest things on earth. I am a father. One of the greatest inventors. I am a father. I am a good and bad father. <laughs> Sometimes things go my way. Sometimes they don't. If you my child, nothing's gonna go your way <laughs> when it comes to me. Now, I'm the type of father that some children will want. I don't spank my children. And I'm not saying that spanking is wrong. I'm not saying that. Because spanking isn't wrong until it gets out of control. But at the same time, if you're an older parent spanking your kids and they outrun you, give up. Either you catch them off guard, which is going to be a rare occasion, or you some type of ninja. But as a regular parent, you may want to give up. <laughs> if you're in your, I put it this way, if you're in your 50s trying to spank a four year old and, he, and the four year old outruns you, you need to do something different. <laughs> Spanking is what young parents do. That's how you express yourself to your child, let them know that they're doing something wrong. I'm an older parent, and I know information that you can hurt yourself <laughs> trying to spank your child. <laughs> your back can go out. Mm -hmm. You can tear your rotator cuff. <laughs> so I just, I just, I just stand. <laughs> the last thing you want to do is when you swing the belt, are right, you? Yeah. And go. <laughs> and like, I can't do it. Even if you switch to the other arm, it's going to hurt. Because he... Because when she swing with the other R, it's going to swing this one, too. <laughs> Wait from it, you know, for my own benefit. I remember when my oldest boy was, the last time I spanked him, he was 13. He's 27 now. I spanked him at 13. That was it. And I went for him. And he was way faster than I thought. I went for him, and that boy moved. <laughs> and I'm like, why is this belt still going? What's up with this belt? <laughs> The belt come around and wrap me around my back. I said, oh, shit, never again. I didn't cook the kid tape myself. I'm not doing this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not spanking them, children. So what I did, I came up with a different method. I am what you call an embarrasser. Mm -hmm. I embarrass my children yeah you so it, it's like I, I keep saying to people it could mess with if in this new version of discipline it can mess with the your kids psychologically but in the enough to know that they learn this lesson i think you're good you don't need to take it too far you need to take it far enough to know they get the point and they stay on point do something i'm showing up you don't know how I'm showing up. <laughs> it don't matter to me how I show up. This is about you. <laughs> my daughter, my oldest daughter, when she was in class, when she was in school, I get a phone call from the teacher. He says, your daughter 
is that school being disruptive. And I said, say it ain't so. <laughs> <laughs> so, teacher called me, and now I got to come to the school. Mm -hmm. And I told that teacher, I'll be up there in the morning. Brother, just a question. How old are you, brother? 50. 50? Yeah. So you remember Isaiah Thomas when he played for the Detroit Pistons. Come on. Do y'all know who Isaiah Thomas is? Yeah. 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 Isaiah Thomas played for the Detroit Pistons. Do you remember the outfit, though? <laughs> Little shorts. <laughs> Little shorts. Long socks. Jersey tucked in. 8.30 in the morning. I show up to my daughter's school. Oh. Right in the classroom. Isaiah Thomas outfit on. <laughs> Sit in my daughter's classroom. My daughter turned around, what the fuck? <laughs> and I'm in the classroom doing dumb shit. I'm in there doing this. <laughs> When I had my wallet in my sock too. I'm doing my <laughs> the wallet in the sock, no. Not the wallet in the sock too. Oh Lord. <laughs> Do you know how embarrassed my daughter was when I was in the lunchroom stretching? Oh. <laughs> and one of my balls fell out. <laughs> yeah, you can't lay that down in the middle of the No. <laughs> and what's crazy is. When you in school, it's always one child that's seen everything, and he keeps it going. One little white boy named Travis. He was in my daughter's class, and every year, Travis would tell all the kids, you see that girl right there? Her father came up here. <laughs> and his balls fell out of the cafeteria. At that point, Travis and I are gonna have some exchanges. <laughs> Uh, I still remember, and this does not make this right, what I'm about to say. Th what what this parent did does not make it right, but it does set an example. I give I give the parent this. Now, back in when I was in third grade, my, <laughs> this kid was acting so bad, like, like, like he had no home training. Like, he was cursing on the teachers, telling the teacher and several teachers to go F themselves, uh, spitting on kids, uh, actually kidney punching kids too as well. Like kids, like in, he was punching guys and gals. And one, uh, one time, because it only took one, he overstepped his boundaries. I don't know what took them long for the parents to call the, uh, the, the, the teacher called the parent, his parents. Oh, she, she showed up there. His mom tore his behind up in front of everybody. Excuse me. Yeah, in front of everybody. Tore his t bad mouth butt up. And, and he's like, okay, mama, I get it. Ah, that. Because <laughs> I won't do it anymore. <laughs> and it's like, it's like we watching it. I know it plays slow motion for him when it comes to pain. It felt slow. For us, it was an instant three minutes of him just getting his butt whooped. And she, her shot, if I have to come back up here again, I'm tearing your butt even more than this. And she walked up, and he was shaking, and went back to sit down at his desk and apologized to the teacher and just sit there crying. I'm like, Damn. I mean, when it comes to certain things, yeah, was that too far? Maybe. But at the same time, he was a bad little, bad little bastard, <laughs> the best way I can put it. Let me tell you why. I'm like, I'm like this. Because at the time, I was the president of the PTA. And you had school acting crazy, and the president is your father? <laughs> But let me tell you, I know it seems strange to people, a black man being the president of the PTA, because this is a definitely a white woman dominated sport. <laughs> dominated by white women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I was the first president in the last 200 years of the PTA. <laughs> so, let me tell you how I become the president. Have you ever been in a conversation with a person and you didn't know that you was in the conversation? They just start, they just start talking to you. I'm in the P. 
Yes. I experienced that last night at the bar. Well, my friend experienced that last night in the bar while we were discussing some stuff. The person was like, yeah, what's up, man? Gave him a dab and dab. And I'm like, okay, where the fuck you came from? But, yeah. TA meeting. First meeting. You know, minding my own business, just sitting down, watching everything go on. Lady up there talking. Old white guy sits down next to me and says, I'm tired of hearing her goddamn voice. Okay. I, I, I don't know him. I don't know her. I'm not involved. He taps me and said, now nah, you understand. She been the president of the PTA for the last three years, and I'm tired of hearing her goddamn voice. It's like, dude. Okay. Now, I'm I'm too goofy, and this is where it he he kind of interests me. He said, "You should run." <laughs> and here go my goofy head talking. You think I can win? <laughs> he said, "I'll vote for you." <laughs> now, I didn't signed up to run for president or the PTA. Leave it. The lady name is Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith is way more aggressive than I thought. I'm getting ready to pull out. Mrs. Smith pulls her car in front of my car. At that time, I'm gonna be ready for a fight if someone did that to me. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? All right, let's hit the crowbar. Lady gets out and she's walking towards my car. I roll my window. I say, who is this crazy man white lady? <laughs> <laughs> walking towards my car. The lady taps on the window. Cat, 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 cat. I roll my window down just a little bit. She talking all in the crack of the window. She got her lips all in the damn crack. I started rolling her lips up in that window. I started to. Somebody, I heard you gonna run for president. Just know you will leave. Now, I'm going to say something, but my baby's in the car, and I don't want to talk crazy in front of my baby, so I get out. Mm -hmm. I say, hold on, Mrs. Smith. Just know I'm going to run a hell of a campaign, and I am a very formidable opponent. <laughs> <laughs> and I glanced and looked in her car. <laughs> the white man who told me to run was in her car. Oh, that's her husband. <laughs> Mr. Smith then set me up. Mm -hmm. They must have been having problems at the house. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I win. I win. You know, I become the press. And, and now I'm at school. I'm at the school all the time. Because you got to volunteer. I don't have no day job. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at the school. And I'm doing my, my due diligence to be a part of this school. And they done gave me a lot of power. I'm the president, and they done gave me the stop sign <laughs> for when the traffic come in in the morning. I'm there in the morning. Wait, this is a white man named Steve. Get on my nerve. <laughs> Every morning, Steve try to come in the wrong way. I hit his ass with the stop sign. Ha! Come on, Steve. You know what the rule is. Come on, Steve. Steve. That's one thing I, I probably would never look forward to when I ever have a kid. It's the whole PTA thing. I'm like, why the fuck am I here? Probably gonna send my wife, my fiance there. I'm like, I ain't gonna deal with this. Because <laughs> if I ever go to... Okay, I've been to one school meeting. And that's with my sister, with, with my nieces. With one of my nieces. And... I had to get really wordy with one of one of the uh, the staff there, which ironically was the principal, and explained to, as a person who has been bullied, they suck of handling it. And I voiced that, so. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> if you like any of this content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe to Ali C. Deke. I will leave the original link to this video down below in the description, so you can watch uninterrupted. And um. Y'all have any crazy PTA stories y'all like to share? Please let me know in the comments down below. And, um, 
Yeah. Like, like crazy ones, like personal and or something that happened with from a friend or friend or with a family member. Just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but to next time, please take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. Stay safe. Stay warm. Peace out. Little questions is everything they know about you.